so when you first start doing doing a bit of research on uh on the k swaps um what you find is that you find people talking about um engine harnesses conversion harnesses and charge harnesses um and when i first started i was very confused i've come from engines where they're kind of all in one um so in this video i'll just cover off what the difference between the three are and what their uses are so i've got uh here an engine harness laid out uh, so up this side is the plugs for the ecu that usually go through your firewall um, this basically contains all of the plugs to run your sensors to run your coil packs to run your injectors everything all on this on this loom um, and when in the engine you know it's basically you know your coil packs along here you can see there's the harness there and it goes back under through the firewall if you're in the US obviously it's going to be on the other side but you get the idea um, and it goes under here uh, you know joins up all onto your TPS and everything so that's engine loom it's basically what it how it's described um, just all the bits for your engine pretty much all the bits uh, the next one that we have is charge harness and that charge harness is a bit different um, it previously I've run these wires separately uh, in Honda's or K series in particular uh, they have this separate harness so what it has on it is it has uh, an alternator plug which is what you would think you know a charge harness would be so it has the alternator thick wire going back to the battery it has a thick wire for the starter to trigger the starter it has your controls for your alternator and it has your knock sensor uh, it then has uh, this plug here which plugs into your main engine harness uh, sorry I'm trying to film that but I think it's this plug they plug in together I know it's not that plug it's this plug so so effectively if they're plugged together it's all one loom uh, so this part provides the control for the alternator gives the knock sensor input and then these two positive wires basically go back to your battery so what you can see on my engine bay is the charge harness goes up around here and up so I've routed one to the positive terminal of the battery there uh, and then the other one goes into this fuse box um, to the usual spot uh, so that's the starter motor one and that's the alternator one uh, so that's the charge harness so those two as I said plug together uh, this all gets laid out on the engine then at this end basically it plugs into the e there's two of the plugs here that plug into the ECU the A and the sorry the A and the B plugs and then you've got this C101 plug which is left to the side now the third harness which we have is the conversion harness and what that does is it links up this engine loom and the ECU to the body of the car uh, it's used for things like powering you know providing 12 volts um, ground speed sensor alternator light you know temperature um, the temperature sensor reading to your gauge uh, and the way it works on an EG for most of the conversion harnesses is you've got two little plugs on the side and it'll be obvious when you get the conversion harness you'll see them and they sit on this shock tower on the driver's side or the right hand side um, shock tower and what I did is I fed it back through this grommet in the firewall under the dash and then plugged in my conversion harness from one side of the car across and then when you plug it into your ECU it takes up the E plug in the ECU um, and then it also plugs into the C101 plug this plug so it's basically connecting everything to your car um, I guess because these swaps are so popular 
those harnesses exist for kind of other swaps that you might do you might have to make your version of that you know that conversion harness up yourself um, that's what I've had to do in the past for other cars it, it makes it easy if you can get that that harness that it, it's like pretty much plug and play this whole thing um, you've then got very few wires to to plug in yeah so I think so as you can see here the engine harness plugs into these two plugs uh, auto will plug into the other ones but generally you don't do auto if you're doing a conversion uh, and then your conversion harness will plug into this plug here uh, and also into the C101 this plug here hopefully that explains when people are talking about conversion harnesses engine harnesses charge harnesses hopefully now you have an idea of of what they are you basically need all three in some stage and hopefully if you have like a an EG or a, a DC Integra or a EK you'll be able to buy those conversion harnesses off the shelf if you've got a car that has a K in it already I don't think you'll need a conversion harness at all you'll probably just need an engine harness if to suit the engine um, and you can probably reuse your charge harness but yeah hopefully if you're doing your conversion hopefully that helps if you've got questions on this stuff just drop it in the comments below and I'll try and help you out by answering it um, it's not it's actually not that complicated once you understand the bits um, this is a very simple way of going about it but yeah if you did like the video please hit the like button consider subscribing and we'll catch you next time thanks everyone Thank you.